Hit harder, I like it. One room is 1.5, I think that's ridiculous. One thing that you cannot get, right, is independence. The winning team is... Hello, Hello. everybody! Hi, I'm Kai. And I'm Kieran Sus. I'm Ryan. And I'm Dewey. And... Welcome to the Wii K4 Arena! Do you have any idea what you are going to do today? You're just coming to come. We got teleported here. I have class later. Bad foundation. Welcome to the Wii K Pool Arena, where players will better it out to be the champion of current affairs. Today, you'll be split into two teams, for and against. All four of you will engage in a debate over hot topics relevant to Gen Zs. The team with the best argument wins. I'm very good at arguing. I'm not good at current affairs, but I'm good at arguing. According to research, I am. I feel social studies. Alright, I'll try my best. <laughs> Please come to the front and pick a slip of paper to determine your team. Who do you hope to be paired up with? Ryan! Because I know he's smart. Kevin, because he has a big mouth. Shut up! But it makes <laughs> empty noises. I don't want Kevin as well, I take Dewey. Hey! Can, can we three people? <laughs> After life against Kevin! I can't yeah, see that. One, two, three. I manifest. I'll hex you. <laughs> no, I'll hex you. Hey, the hammer is not for you guys to turn up. Oh yeah, your head is a hammer. Ah. Hey, my birthday. Okay, so now that you've gotten into your teams, here's a twist. So each of you will be given two forbidden words that you are not allowed to say during the entire debate. Mm. Your forbidden words will be decided by the opposing team. <laughs> if you do, you will need to be hammered by our friendly aliens over here. Stupid <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I mean, considering we are friends. I know what kind of words they say a lot. I mean, all I have to do is just say and then kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I mean, still <laughs> angry. Definitely Kevin, because he no, talks too much. Ryan. He's I know. Empty. He just no. meh, meh, meh. Look, but he's I can going remove on, he's going words on. from I'm it. Talking Ryan, about this. I can remove words on, from the vocabulary because I'm a proficient speaker. I got A1 for actually, English, I, mean, I got A for English all the way. Proficient, but all the way to J. Hey, cut, 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 cut. I think we all do great. So now you'll be given one minute to discuss and decide the forbidden word for your opposing team members. We hope it's not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good, right? It's good, right? Yeah, I think it's, it's good, good. It's good. We're done. We're very confident with our word. This is for Dewey. This is for Roulette Frost. Oh, this is for Kai. This oh, is for Raven. Can we make a sticker out? Make a sticker out. This one. Everything's an option. Hey, you can talk. I can. I didn't know that. Each debate round will consist of one topic and will last 10 minutes. Only one person should speak at one time. At the end of each round, the staff will decide the winner. Before we begin, please say some words to the opposing team. Good luck, love. We will miss you, Kai. My turn. <laughs> Good luck, bitch. So like, have fun, but not so much fun. <laughs> I was trying to be my birthday! You really thought you ate? Many people in their early 20s have been moving out or planning to move out to live on their own. But rental prices these days are pretty insane. A studio-like unit like this costs $1,400 a month. So, the topic sentence is, Renting a room for $1,500 is worth it. Debate it out. So, I think going into this, right, talking about the price itself, $1,500 is idealistic to live a kind of lifestyle that you would like. For example, you know, having independence and all of that. But, Mm. But just take it. <laughs> <laughs> However, it is idealistic but not realistic. An average salary for people under the age of 35 is 3.5k a month. Okay. So let's just say you minus off uh, the. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's just say you minus off the rental, 1.5k, right? You're left with $2,000. $2,000, you must think about if you're living on your own, you must think about the food. Your travel, your phone bill, your insurance, your tax. So many numbers. Do you really need to rent out a house for $1,500? Is okay, it necessary? So the one thing that... <laughs> See? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so your word is okay. Okay. Why cannot? It's okay. Anything that is a generative... Okay. 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 I knew it! So... So right? Yeah. Why, why must you rent out but... <laughs> okay, I keep thinking about whether she's gonna hit me, can you stop first? I can say okay, right? Okay, so, um... Okay, so right, mm -hmm. um... The monetary, like, burden they are considered... Can you hit harder? It's not taking into account if you were to be staying very far away from a workplace. So for example, if you stay in, let's say, like, the other end of Singapore, right? 
You know what? Just carry on. Just carry on. I can take. I can paint. Just hit harder. I like it. Yeah, you can like. You can like grab. Let's say from like from one end of Singapore to the other. You can like. Let's say if it's like my work starts at eight o'clock, right? I have to wake up. Let's say six o'clock. That kind of thing to prepare, and then I have to like. Here again. I have to travel and and that kind of thing, and then I have to grab for I have to grab. Some people like to grab, you know. So considering like either say grab is let's say twenty dollars, two and four equals forty dollars per day. Twenty dollars times thirty equals to one point two k. Which is yes, lesser than the rental cost. I would say that it's worth it if you're staying very far from your workplace because you can travel back and forth easier if you're to be staying closer to your home. I think you're definitely not answering the question at all. You can't just go on slippery slopes and create scenarios based on random. It's not slippery slopes. I'm saying that there are situations where you can. Do not interrupt me when I'm speaking, Kevin. I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I'll just. Thank you very much. Anyways, I'm not angry. I'm just learning from her. Carry on, carry on, carry on. You know, for a lot of like married people or people that are thinking to get married, right? It's not a smart choice to like rent apartment for like 1.5k a month, even if it's small and it's like deemed like affordable for like two people, right? Because the thing is like in 1.5 right, you times 12, right? That's 18k a year already. Top up two, right? You can just like deposit your down payment for your HDB, get your key. In the scenario that you don't get the BTO and you're like, hey, let me move out with my partner, right? And I get apartment, right? We're gonna pay 1.5k right for years and years, waiting for a BTO, right? That's a huge chunk of money that you just throw into rental, right? I think that it's really like not affordable and unrealistic for a lot of people our age. Because my parents they rented out our like four room uh, HDB, it it goes for like two point two k. But then a one room is one point five. I think that's ridiculous. The part about the two point two k thing, right? That is a one case scenario. No, it's based on. You can go check property guru. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's based on her own like scenario thing. Like where are the where's the source? Quote me the source. Quote me the facts. Show me the research behind it. We put a monetary thing. Aside first, one thing that you cannot get right is independence. Because if you keep relying on like staying with your family, right, you wake up, you want to eat, huh? Who cook for you? Your parents, or who wash your laundry? Your parents, your helper, whatnot. But the whole living by yourself, right, is really, but right, is really gaining independence, and it's something that you cannot do if you don't move out. Okay, but most of the strawberry. Okay, let's talk about um maybe like toxic family culture. So maybe you come home, right, you have like no privacy that kind, and you come home like you got bad relations with your family. I think you think in terms of like mental health conduciveness and like really how they are being independent as a whole, right? Then would it be worth it? It burns your pocket a bit, but then ultimately in the long run, right, you're more conducive. You can, you can, you can work better. Like you don't need to deal with like all the family drama when you go home. That kind of things. You cannot afford three point five k and have your own independent lifestyle. Like I said, it is i, it is. An ideal situation. Honestly, like from my point of view, right, it was difficult to argue for this point too, because I know there's some people that earn very, very like average salaries. What is my word, ah? I cannot. I still don't know the word. Just talk. Don't let it distract you. Like, okay, that's the word. So right, um, there are some people I know that earn very like like average salaries, and then they still CPF and everything, right? So definitely, it's difficult for them. But I'm also acknowledging that there is a subset of people. For example, like camera graph. Cameramen, videographers, videographers. Yeah. you know, you have to bring a lot of equipment to work, or you stay very far. Then you have to spend on rent. That's a place where I feel like you can actually like spend a little bit more on rental costs. You're talking about long term. Let's talk about long term. If you rent a house, there's always a book that says rather buy than not rent, right? So if you actually save up that money and buy a house to get out of your situation, that's also possible. All these problems can still be solved. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you don't have to rent. I think like Jimmy mentioned, you can get a whole, you can get a whole entire HDB four room flat, room two point two k. Is it worth to get one room for one point five k? We don't think so. And I also feel that like in the coming years, right, the rental prices will only increase. And I feel like this whole idea, right, of like whether or not is it worth it, right, is more idealistic than realistic. We've decided that for the first round, the winning team is Ryan and Jimmy. Yeah. 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 Okay, there's two more rounds. Last star loser. It's just straight up not ethical. Cause I got a scam before. It was hard to argue against. You didn't even know how to argue. I know it's very difficult to meet someone very organically in real life. Some people don't have the courage to walk up to them and be like, "Oh my god, are you gay? Are you gay?" No, no, no. It's crazy. You win your shout, you win me. Kevin. Oh my god, my butt is too powerful.